I've spent so many years being silenced, not only by the perpetrators that have abused me, but also by society, and I'm tired of being silenced. I would like to make it very clear, Ghislaine is as guilty, if not worse, than Jeffrey. The second I arrived on that island, that's when everything changed. My passport was taken away from me, my cell phone was taken away from me, and that's when the rape started. It was very difficult for me, a very vulnerable, naive 22-year-old. All of a sudden, I'm thrown into the sex trafficking ring, and once you're in, you can't, you can't escape. Jeffrey made it very clear from the very first rape if I ever told anybody, if I ever went to the authorities, if I told my parents, I would be taken out. My family would be taken out. Ghislaine was the chief orchestrator. She engineered everything. You answered to Ghislaine. Even before I met Ghislaine, Jeffrey said, you do not look at Ghislaine, you do not cross her, you do not speak to her, and you do exactly what she says. It actually makes me sick that she is claiming to be a victim or have any form of innocence. This is the same woman that grabbed my arm and forced me into a room to be raped by Jeffrey. It was brutal. And I remember limping from Jeffrey's bedroom to the bungalow where the survivors slept. And I remember looking at Ghislaine and she had this evil smirk on her face. She knew by forcing me into Jeffrey's room that I was there to be raped and she enjoyed it. She would build your trust up again by exploiting the trauma bond that she's now created as a sex trafficker. And then as soon as she would build your trust up, then she would break you down again. Then the torture would start again. She was an adult woman in her 40s. She knew exactly what she was doing. None of us were safe with Jeffrey alive. And none of us are safe with Ghislaine and the co-conspirators out in the streets. Ghislaine needs to be behind bars for the rest of her life.